Welcome back. Tis the season for potholes. We've all seen them. We've all driven over a few of them. Hopefully you haven't done any damage, but it's easy to do. We thought we'd have Dan Cicchini join us today. He is the manager at Cal Tire Notre Dame. Great to have you back on the show. Thanks for having me again. Yes, it's great to have you here. Uh, maybe we'll start by asking you, what kind of damage can you do to your car if you don't manage to swerve around one of these big potholes? Well, it's, it, it seems like it's almost endless, really. Uh, depends on how hard you hit it, if you swerve it in a certain way. And it could be as simple as a wheel balance, which is a quick and easy fix, to um, maybe extensive front end damage or new wheels and tires. So it can be, it can be a wide uh, spectrum of, uh, of damage for sure. My first thought is, oh, I'm gonna puncture my tire like puncture the air out of it. Is that really going to happen? Or is it more about the alignment you can screw up? Or like, what's the most common thing you would say? The most, uh, it all depends. Uh, the most common thing could be as simple as a, a balance and alignment issue. Um, you might just knock your wheel out of alignment just enough to start making it pull or the impact from the blow could cause uh, a weight to fall off, which gives you a vibration at high speeds. Um, we did just have a couple of vehicles in lately though, and they did pop a tire and it, it just blew right on the spot. So I mean, that, right? that happens as well. Let's take a look at the visuals we've got here. Uh, these shots are actually not taken in Kamloops. And I might ask you this, Dan, would you say that this is a better year uh, in terms of the fact we haven't seen that freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing? We've been above zero for quite a while. It might be a better year, but we're all, we've all seen this. Yeah, it, it, I, I believe it probably has been a bit of a better year. It's it's funny you ask me that question though. I live on uh, I live up in Aberdeen, so I go up and down the Pacific uh, it, I've, I know. Way all the time. Yeah. And you know what? We do a pretty good job in this city of when they do arrive, they fix them. Uh, we saw massive ones on there a couple weeks ago, and they mm -hmm. already been filled. So. But new ones have formed again. I find Pacific Way to be a bit uh, uncomfortable right now. Yeah. Maybe I'm just special needs, I don't know. But I do see that they put in the asphalt and they're cleaning them up. Yeah. So as long as we don't go below zero again, it won't be a problem. But this is the sort of thing, you know what, you can see that in the daylight. People are slowing down, but you yeah. know where it's gonna get you? At nighttime, you don't necessarily see those creeping up on you. No, you don't. Uh, some of the other things too is, when, there, when it has been raining quite a bit and you get the, if we, if you start to venture towards the shoulders, you don't, you don't see them at all and they just appear out of nowhere until you've, until you've felt them. Right. And that's one of the uh, tips here. It says avoid curb lanes and pools of water because with a pool of water, of course, it might go down quite far. Yeah. You don't and you know. have no idea how low, how low that goes. Right. Another interesting thing that it says here as well is, to, uh, you know, slow down, but don't try to swerve suddenly out of the way because that swerve, that sudden angle might be worse for your car than just going over it head on. Yeah, our tires are designed to be the first form of suspension and comfort on a vehicle. They're designed to take some of the impact of the road. So if you if you angle that tire a certain way, you're 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 limiting how much of that tire can can take that impact. So if you last minute swerve and hit it on an awkward, awkward position, that's when you get that tire blowout that happens. Okay. So by looking at your vehicle, you get out, you think, wow, I think I really just dinged my car. You can't necessarily tell by looking at it. If it's making a funny noise or it feels like the steering's off, you should bring it in. Absolutely. I mean, if something feels abnormal, uh, you drive your vehicle all the time. And if something feels abnormal, definitely bring it in and get it checked out. If you've heard something and you want to take a quick peek and underneath and you know the mechanics a little bit, then for sure. But for the most part, just bring it in and we'll definitely check it check out Check it over, you. make sure you're, you're good to go. Okay, I think we've hit all of the, uh, the main points. Is there anything else you want to add? Nope, uh, it's just that this time of year, we, we definitely do see them coming because uh, spring, is, spring is in the air. So mm -hmm. just uh, drive carefully around town. And, and uh, if you do know something, maybe, maybe just report it and uh, try to get those fixed up as soon as we can. Absolutely. All right, Dan, thank you very much for being here today. Information on the screen. Dan is the manager at Notre Dame. He'd be more than happy to check out your car, perhaps if you think you've hit a pothole a little too hard or for any other reason. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.